Hi, I'm Tom Heinzman, and I'm the president of Bullfrog Power and uh, one of the co-founders. We founded it about seven years ago, back in 2004. That's weird. We started in 2004 as well. My name is Ted Grant. I'm one of the co-founders of Moksha Yoga. We're a community of hot yoga studios around Canada and the U.S. and opening in Europe soon. Mine, for sure, my primary environmental concern would be consumerism and how it's done in particular. I think the way that we uh, are overly disposable with what we buy and our need to continuously um, accumulate more and more is really fundamentally part of our psyche now and I think it's causing a bit of a, a challenge in uh, resource extraction, uh, how we interact uh, politically and socially. So yeah, that's a very big concern for me. My biggest concern, not that consumerism isn't an issue, but would be climate change. And over the course of the years I've worked on forestry and water issues and toxic issues and they're all important. Climate change for me though is the uh, it, it's the impacts are potentially unbelievably profound and so uh, uh, and in there they're also more intergenerational for me. You know those 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 issues are the other ones, forestry, etc. are very immediate. This one has me thinking about generations I which uh, as a relatively young parent uh, it's very powerful for me. Bullfrog Power is a green renewable energy choice. So, I mean, think about it. In your day-to-day -day life, you've got green choices in, in everything. The clothes you wear, where you do your yoga, the food you eat. But we haven't had it in energy. And it's the biggest single contributor to our environmental footprints. Throughout the fabric of what we do with Moksha, from how we design and build and manage our studios. They're environmental from bottom to top. Another thing that we do is a seven week challenge called Living Your Moksha. And one of the weeks, the challenge involves doing uh, green initiatives. So for example, during the Live Green week, uh, one of the things that we ask all the Living Your Moksha participants to do is to go vegetarian or vegan for a week because a lot of people don't realize the massive implications of a meat-based diet and how that affects the planet. Uh, we also do something called supersizing the challenge. So if you want to do something extra, we ask people uh, not use any disposable containers for the week. So anytime you go to a restaurant or go to get your coffee, you've got your mug, you've got your uh, Tupperware, and that has a, a massive impact on things. And it's something you can carry over into your life after the challenge is over, which is really important to us. A third thing that we're going to ask people to do is sign up for Bullfrog Power. We think it's a great way if you Bullfrog Power your home or your apartment. Even if you don't own your home, you can Bullfrog Power. And it's as simple as going to bullfrogpower.com. Hi. I've been a big fan of Bullfrog Power since its inception. I was one of the first uh, uh, homeowners who signed up, as was uh, my family, my brother. And uh, it was a pretty easy fit for Moksha to do that. So we met as a community, and Tom came and spoke to us. And we all voted as studio owners to adopt Bullfrog Power as our green electricity su um, supplier. Uh, not to mention that, but now that they've been involved with natural gas, we've got a few studios doing that as well. So our communities have been uh, intertwined since both of our beginnings. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to say what an amazing opportunity it is to, to collaborate with Moksha. We try to do collaborate as much as we can uh, with Moksha, and there's there's a uh, discount coupon that's going up on our promo exchange because we'd love everybody to, if you haven't tried it, to get out to a Moksha studio and, and, and give it a whirl. Moksha is making sure that as much renewable energy goes onto the electricity grid and it displaces other forms of uh, conventional energy. And it means that Moksha can uh, claim and or emissions reductions. So Moksha's emissions reductions would be in the order of a thousand tons of carbon dioxide, which is a greenhouse gas, in the in the order of two thousand kilograms of uh, uh, NO nitric oxide, um, and uh, and I think it's in the order of forty four 
uh, kilograms of highly radioactive nuclear waste. So, Tom, can I ask you a question? Can you, if someone were to walk into a Moksha studio who had no idea what renewable, renewable energy was all about, not only that, how Bullfrog works, how would you explain it in the most easy to understand terms? Uh, in terms of how it works, so think of the electricity grid, or for that matter, the natural gas, gas system is a, is a bathtub. And into the grid are all the sources, so coal, gas, nuclear, hydro, etc. And then we all draw out from the other side of the bathtub. The more renewable power, the more power from wind and from low impact hydro, solar, etc. that comes into the bathtub, the less of the other polluting sources are required. So, so that's it. We want to fill up the bathtub. We want a green bathtub. We want to fill it up with as much green uh, energy as possible. So the more students of Moksha Yoga and the more Moksha Yoga studios that support bullfrog power, the more green energy goes into the grid. Exactly. I mean, ultimately, if everybody was prepared to pay a premium for renewable energy, we would have a lot more, if not an ex a completely clean uh, electricity grid. So on average, in a household, say one of our students wanted to sign up with Bullfrog, how much would it cost extra per day? Depends on the province, but it can be from less than 50 cents a day uh, in some provinces to just less than a dollar a day in, in kind of the higher priced region. So over the course of a year, it adds up, but it's still you know, less than the cost of a coffee or a really bad cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs>